Hey people, Duncan here, out and about campaigning. Please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment down below in the box, and hit that bell for more notifications. So, let's talk campaigning. I've been out and about talking to literally hundreds of people in the state of Oregon. Um, talking about current issues, what's most important to them as voters, what are the real issues, what are their worries, and so on. Here's what I've been told. The number one thing people are talking about is their medical marijuana, the recreational marijuana, the insurance, and the tax increase. Many people throughout the state are worried about paying more taxes. They're worried about the lack of health care, how it's going to get funded, which Proposition 101. They're worried about their pot. So I've been literally out and about talking about issues, talking about solutions, and talking about my ideas for the state of Oregon. So here we go. First and foremost, I think in on the medical marijuana issue, I think that there's enough evidence to suggest that medical marijuana should at least be looked into as a potential medicine and it's showed enough evidence to show to prove that it's got healing factors. I also believe that we have cigarettes and alcohol which are both currently legal in America. I think that both are far worse than marijuana. I do not believe there's enough evidence to suggest marijuana is bad. I don't think it's even been in a category long enough to be to be uh, experimented on in order to say it's bad or not. I think literally that we have far more important things in this country to worry about than pot. And that's my truth belief. Now, with that being said, let's talk about insurance. I believe the problem with insurance in this com country is the price gouging. And I'm going to say this every time we speak about insurance. The idea that you can get into an ambulance and they can charge you five grand or more to drive in a city to get to a hospital. The idea that you go to a hospital, you could get charged near 20 to 40 to 50 grand for being seen, depending upon why, and depending upon the emergency or not. The idea that you can go to a doctor's office and they get they'd charge your insurance, which drives up the cost. I live in one town, one town in Oregon. This town is ran by the hospital, and here's what I'm saying. The hospital, Sky Lakes, gets a grant from the from the federal, a federal grant. They use this money to not upgrade the hospital, but instead they use this money to go around town buying up buildings. They then install doctor's offices with the name Sky Lakes. Every one of these doctor's offices then fill up with patients who are all on insurance. Insurance cost goes up. Here in Klamath, Klamath Falls, Oregon, let me tell you what, the best business in Oregon, the best business in Klamath is the Sky Lakes medical industry. It's the reason this state is almost $700 million in the hole. Now, here we go. I also believe that sanctuary status in Portland is a core factor to the taxes, the tax rate, and the cost of insurance. I believe that Kate Brown's free abortion plan 
is a cause for the increased insurance. I believe that the fact that Kate Brown sold into Obaman abomination care literally is crippling insurance now here in Oregon. Now their solution is Proposition 101. Tax the college students, tax the middle class, sales tax on the insurance, and raise the and raise the rates one one and a half percent. Now I for one do not believe in abortion. I for one do not believe in health care for illegals, and especially health care funded by taxpayers. So. My personal belief is if the politicians here in Oregon want to push this absurd health care, they should pay for it. Let's take it out of their pockets, out of their salaries. We don't need free abortion. We don't need abortion of any kind. Continuing with that, there's this idea that people in this country or in the state, have no voice. There's 29 counties in the state with less than 150,000 people in it. These counties are filled with people losing their homes, their farms, their businesses, all because of big city, Portland sanctuary status, politics. Governor who doesn't care about the people in Oregon. Instead, they care about the illegals in Oregon. They care about the refugees in Oregon. As governor, I will always represent the people of Oregon. I have a small town plan that will lower the property rate inside of every one of these 29 counties with less than 150,000 people. I believe this alone will create these pl these counties will become places for sit to grow. They will become places for families. They will become places for businesses, both small businesses, commercial businesses, and then later industries and factories. These towns will grow into cities. These these small communities and counties will grow into bigger, more vocal counties. More of Oregon will be heard. No longer will the state of Oregon be ran by big city Portland politics. I also want to end the sanctuary status. And I know that I will have to have the support of all 29 counties in order to do so. But once this status is removed, then those same people will then get a more tax break. The income tax will drop. The luxury tax will drop. Everything that we spend to fund illegal immigration will be put back into our pockets. The American people, Oregon people, the Oregon citizens will benefit with me as governor. I will work to get our gun rights back, fully restored. Because I believe we live in a country, in a time, where our politicians are becoming more and more corrupt. And these same politicians are the ones that control the military with high-powered weapons. I live in a state where speaking the way I am right now can be could classify me as a public nuisance. Kate Brown passed a law where the police can come kicking in my door to take my gun rights, to take my guns, because I'm speaking the way I speak right now. I live in a state where Bundys have been shot, where Ranches have been stolen because of Uranium One. Finnegan's, Lavoy Finnegan, the Bundys, the Hammonds. 
I live in a state where the government has literally started war and shot and killed American citizens protecting their home and their land. The, we as Americans have a duty to protect the sovereignty of this nation. Not only from foreign enemies, but from domestic enemies. We have an obligation, a duty to defend the people, the way of our lives, our foundation against all enemies, foreign or domestic. And if a government no longer has our best interests at heart, it is our duty to ensure the future <coughs> by restoring a government that represents us. We can't do that with single shot weapons when we're dealing with an enemy that is the most sophisticated, the, the best, most armed military in the world. Our greatest enemy may not be an enemy from abroad. Our greatest enemy may be the same very swamp that our president speaks of. May be the deep state that controls these devices we speak into. The deep state that controls the military. That controls the politicians that make our laws. That strip us of our money, our wealth, and our rights. We the American people must stand. We cannot allow this corruption, this tyranny, and this oppression to continue. We need politicians in place that will always represent the American people, who will never turn their backs on the American people. That politician is me. I am running as Oregon's next governor. Please excuse the way I look. It's early. It's early in the morning. I have yet to have a chance to do anything. I've been traveling. I've been doing lots of things out in the community and talking to too many people. Today is a holiday, and I'm asking for your support. Please support, endorse, endorse and vote for Duncan as Oregon's next governor in 2018. Help me redeem the state of Oregon. And together, we can make America great again. But we're going to have to fix this state. So thank you for watching. Please if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below in the box, like the videos, and hit that bell for future notifications. God bless you. God bless America. Stand up, America. Stand up. We the people. By the people. For the people. United we stand. Divided we fall. Remember that. Peace. Duncan out.